let's take a look at the Creative Writing Assistant. This is an end-to-end -end application that shows how to explore a multi-agent application for this scenario, basically a writing assistant that has different agents internally that is going to help. This is the full repo where you can find all of the documentation. And the whole idea is that we have a front end, which is a React application. And then we have a back end that is going to handle the communication. The front end is very simple, as you can see here. We have this already deployed to Azure. And hey, the best way to display the application is to take a look at this. So this is the Aspire dashboard for the application. Let's go to the front end. And what we need to do here is to define basically the instruction that we need to do the different agents. And we have here the researchers, a product person, and also the writing agent. We have the marketing agent, we have the editor agents, and more. So let's start with a very simple query. The query that we are going to do is, we are going to ask the research for search for popular Canadian stories, then the products guy is going to see if they are a selection of Canadian products that, that may help, and also the writer is going to create a short story based on these stories. So let's send this and start to take a look at the, at the result. So first, the researcher is going to search online, find a couple of stories here. So we it found two stories uh, next year for sure, best Canadian stories. And then what we have here is the marketing agent that is going to start to work here and start to create this and start to create the brand for this and more. So we have here a set of products where we don't have any products in the <laughs> in the database for this, but hey, some of that is query that we can do. And then the writer agent that is going to create the full story here. So we have a full story and at the end we are going to have the editor that is going to share the review. Everything happened here in the application. We, as I said, we are going to focus on the back end mostly. And we have here the chat controller, which is going to be doing a streaming of chat. We see how we are going to receive the chat in different chunks. And when we have an input, the input need to be this format, the format what we just seen. If we go to the definition of the format, we need to have the actions for the research, for the products and the writing. Once we have this, we are going to start to create a session here. So we start to look at the session. This is the moment that we start to implement the semantic kernel kernel to do this. We also test the invocation filter to double check external features that we have here, like an example being text. We are going to do being search in this, and then we create the kernel and go back. Once we have created the session, we start to process the streaming. We start to process the full, uh, the full researcher, agent, marketing agents, and more. We create this and start to process the full story here, which is basically connect the dots between them. And as you can see here, there is room for improvement. We can create this and we can probably create this once and then start to use it. This is just for showing process of how we can do this. But we start to build the, the definition and we also flush the definition. We do the yield to flush so we have the responses here. And there are more to know here in terms of how we can do this. Interesting part about this is that because this is also running in, in Azure and we have here the front end, the back end, the, everything in terms of related is sharing the story in the, the keys in the key vault. We can also take a look here in the in the traces and we can probably see here, let me go to the structure, the traces one. We can probably see here in the latest one that when we are doing chat completion, we also have here enable the login to see how many tokens we use, what was the service that we have, the input token, the response tokens here, the service that we have here, OpenAI and more. So we can also take a look at what we have. Another example of running of if you want to see the uh, how this works is in the folder where we have all of the sample for AI agents in lesson four. And in this one, what we have is a workflow, a Windows Presentation Foundation application that is going to look like this. But we don't need to write here the full actions for the researcher, the writer, or the editor. We just set, set the question very similar to before and get the info about Canadian popular story for kids and create the kids story for programmers to learn more about this. The story should be short, so we can ask this, and what we are going to see is the responses for 
first the researcher, then the writer, and then the critic. Let's take a look at this, and we see here the researcher, so the research results with the URL to the source of what we have. Then we also have here the creative writer who is going to start to create the story with this. And finally, the critics, we basically said that, hey, the piece is well-crafted and suitable for children programming literature, so the content aligns, so approve this. If we take a look at the implementation of this, this sample, the main WPF has a workflow factory that where it's going to create the three agents. So we have here the creation of the researcher, the creative writer, and the critic. Each one of these have their own set of instructions, like an example, the researcher uh, work as an expert searching the web, is going to use Bing search plugin to do this, always return the search result with a source URL, and we expect to have the result with the search result, the URL, the content, and the, con and the context, if it's available there. And this is where we have this. Important, when we create this agent example, we enable the chance to use the functions in Semantic Kernel so we can use the Bing search plugin here. In terms of the creative, uh, in the critic agent, what we have here is a critic reviewer is going to uh, analyze and review everything that we have here. And when it stops, it's going to say termination keyword. So if the work is fine, it's going to work there. Everything that we see here is created uh, based on the, is created based on the semantic kernel where we have a researcher writer critic chat and this is the one that manages the whole conversation we when you create this one is going to create have access to the three agent that we have here and it's going to first online online first start to the research online with the researcher then it's going to start to work with the writer with the results that we have from the researcher and later it's going to the critic is going to do this and this is going to run in any set of iterations, we have a max iteration here until the final stop is due with the, with the termination of the critic. So this can run any times, any, any times of iteration until the critic agrees. We can define the numbers of iteration. The numbers of iteration are defined here. So we are working with three iterations. We can go up to 20, depending on what we have. And the approach is also very similar in the front end. So if you want to know more, the samples are part of the the library, the researcher, the semantic kernel creator writer also have an interesting chance, which is we can run a notebook. We have here a data notebook where we can upload information to a vector store. We have here a Jupyter notebook that we can run. This is a polyglot notebook, sorry, where we can run this when we have everything deployed. So we can add information to the vector store. So the agent is going to search online, get information for the product store, and then use that to create the results. So you can take a look at that. Uh, and hey, the full process is you can clone the repo, you can fork the repo, sorry, clone the repo, and then you can do an ACD app and you can deploy this. So this is the creative writer sample demo that is a nice, nice way to learn about how to work with agents.